What up, what up, what up? Did you survive the great earthquake of 2024? Hope everybody's okay out there. I know the, uh, maybe a lawn chair in your backyard fell over. Bills are up 4 nothing. if you're watching live. Eighth inning, top of the eighth, runner on first, one out. Rojas at the plate. He's actually worked a 2-2 count. We'll see what happens here. Phil appeared to be breezing to a win in the opening series, opener of their series against the Nats. It looks cold as shit in Washington. I got to tell you, before we talk about the – we have to check in and see if, if Delco Steve is okay because – I think the I think the earthquake intensity was even even greater in Delaware County, and we do have Del- Delco Craigslist prices right tonight. End of the show. I have five items that are up for bid. Rojas worked a walk, so he went down 0-2. He looked at, at two fastballs, right down more or less right in the strike zone. He looked at them and then he worked it. Good at bat there, Delco Steve. Let me say this before we get to the, the earthquake. I am so sick of this weather. I am so sick of the wind and the rain and the cold. I thought I was like, all right, well, at least it's not going to rain today so the lawn can dry out. I got to cut the lawn this weekend. And then my wife's just yelling at me because I'm like, I got to cut the lawn this weekend. So I got all this stuff to do. And we got softball tomorrow. And right, you're going to cut the lawn. I'm like, what, what do you want to do? Then it gets really long and wet. And then I can't cut it. It takes forever. Anyway, I hate this weather. It sucks. I hate it. I hate this weather. I hate the weather in the Northeast. I feel like I, I should be retiring to Florida or a snowbird. Unfortunately, I can't. But I hate this weather. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And I do this every year. I need the sun. I suffer from seasonal depression. And I love warm weather. And it sucks. It's going to be nice next week, though. All right, runners on first and second. Schwarber up for the fills. Uh, we'll keep you updated on that. The Flyers are also Delco Steve. I bring him into the show. The Flyers are also playing. Yeah. Are they are they playing? Is that sucky goalie in there again? No, it's the new guy. Uh Fed, uh I, don't, I haven't figured out exactly how to say that his six name. Six foot right. eight guy. Yeah. Fed it off. Fed yeah, I don't I don't know where uh, to I don't know where to stress the syllable. You know what I mean? They I every time they the say it, it doesn't sound right to me, but I don't know. But yeah, he they've well, going into the third, they gave up nine shots and they gave up three. So that's not a good percentage, is it? No, it is not. They're up, <laughs> there's 13 minutes left in the third. They're down three one. They, I guess they they don't have a shot. The Flyers don't have a shot in the third because they went into the second intermission with 25 and they still. So if they lose this game, how 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 tough is it? Fucked for them are to they? Playoffs? Yeah. How fucked are they? Yeah. Fucked. <laughs> the Islanders tied them. They tied them in points last night. We still have the tiebreaker, so we're still in the third slot in the division. But the Capitals, if they win the night, they they jump us. If the Red Wings win the night, they jump us. It's yeah, it's just not good. Well, Steve, listen, one of these years, man, one of these years. At least you're they'll not as old as me, and I don't I don't really care. But you know, it's, has it been 50 years or almost 50 years since their last cup? 76. So yeah, yeah. so 47. Yeah, since their last cup. That's a long time, man. That's tough to do. <sighs> Dude, uh, just give me one in my lifetime and I'll be happy. Well, so that's all I'm asking for. And and as much as I really didn't like Ed Snyder, Ed Snyder spent a lot of money to try to win more cups. Uh, you can't argue, you can't yep. argue with him as an owner. He was not cheap. This current Comcast uh, situation. I mean, it's better now with Jonesy in charge. I, I have more confidence in the organization. Briere seems like Definitely. he's got a pretty good idea what's going on. So, uh, and the guy but, who took over for CEO too, Helferty, he's like, so much yeah, he, he he's got like the the, the what was, I don't even know the guy's name. The last no, guy, I did at one point, and now I just right. I, but but the point is, like like he was just he 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 worked his way up the Comcast corporate ladder and ended up landing that gig. And you could tell as far as like any type of charisma or leadership or any kind of an it factor, this guy had nothing. Total zero. I don't I don't remember his name. Actually, and he, people in comments. he was like influenced by Paul Honger and Bill Barber, like all those old guys that just wanted to be, you know, the old broadsheet boys. And it's like, that doesn't work anymore. So he was just listening to them. And it's they like they wanted to fire like the he wanted to fire Chuck Fletcher. And he those guys wouldn't allow him to do it because Chuck Fletcher was their boy. Right. It's, just, it's so much. It's at least it's not a, you know, 
a, mo- a monarchy anymore where it's just like, oh, it's what these four guys say and everything goes. Right. Yeah, no, I mean, like, when, I used, to, when I used to look at organizations like the, the Cincinnati Bengals or the Browns, and they got good recently, but for all those years, the Bills, for 20 years, they didn't make the playoffs. And it's like, how do they not know how dumb they are? Right? Like, how do, how do they not know? Like, they hire a coach that's a total idiot. Like, just like the, the stupidity, Mike Brown of the Bengals, who was terribly cheap and they didn't have, have the, they didn't have like proper scouting and coaching staffs and whatever because they're cheap. And it felt like that under the last regime with the Flyers that they just had no idea what they were doing. Totally yeah. And it's crazy. Foolish. And it's crazy because they were spending a crap ton of money. They I just know. didn't, they just weren't doing it right. It's they just, always spend, man. They're not cheap. Yep. Nope. They're not cheap. They definitely don't no. hold back, but they just, it's like you look at it, they're like, they're always cap strapped. And then you look at other teams that are cap strapped. And it's like, oh, but they have like 10 great players. We have no great players. No, yeah, we're yeah. cap strapped. Yeah. They're, they're well, getting it figured out. They're getting it sorted. Well, listen, there's a lot to get to tonight, uh, including the great earthquake of 2024. Steve, are you okay? Where were you when the earthquake went down? Uh, were you on, I was, on a toilet and fell off? or <laughs> At least I'd have a story if that was the case. Right. No, I was in your uh, grand, or which is your wife's. Parents, Nick of the Woods. I was, over, I was in Broomall. Didn't feel a thing. Guy comes into the office we were working at. He's like, oh, you guys, Sanders really strong. It's shaking the whole building. And we're these, my dad and I look at the guy. And we're like, what are you talking about? And he's like, you didn't feel that earthquake? And we're like, no. So you didn't feel it either? <laughs> didn't feel a thing. I didn't feel it. I was I was actually on the phone. I was I was trying to make a, a doctor's appointment for, for my daughter. And it's one of, you know, like, it's just. I'm on hold forever. You know what I mean? It's like, and then every 45 seconds, it's like, thank you for holding. Please, please continue. The next representative will be with you. And then it goes back to that hold music or whatever until they do it again. And, and my mom's calling me and, you know, so I just, just end the call because like, I'm not losing my spot in line or, you know, like whatever. Yeah. So I'm just like, no, not, not the call. And then she sends me a text. She's like, did you feel the earthquake? What are you talking about? <laughs> and then my wife texts me and she's like, we, we, we had an earthquake. And I'm like, yeah, my mom just called me. Like I, I didn't feel it at all. So I, I don't know why I didn't feel it, but I literally didn't feel it at all. And then I saw videos where people are like, it was shaking for like 30 seconds. They're like, man, like the, the lights are shaking up on the, up on the ceiling. So I don't, I don't know why I didn't feel it, but it was, it's a, it was so I, from what I gathered, it's like kind of like what, where you are, what you're standing on. Like if you're standing on grass, you're more, you are more likely to feel it. If you're standing on concrete, you're less likely to feel it. You're on the ground floor, you're less likely to feel it. If you're up like three or four stories, you're gonna feel the sh- like the building shake a little bit. Hey, goal time! Let's go. Got a goal? Um, right. Yes, we do. But uh, but yeah, so that's like I was watching a thing. From the Yankees, like they had, the, whoever yeah, they, they were working doing batting out. practice. They were doing yeah. batting practice. And they're like, oh, he kept doing batting practice through the earthquake. I'm like, yeah, because he didn't feel it. And like, yeah. the, you could see the camera shake, but yeah, like he clearly didn't feel it. If he felt it. He obviously would have reacted. I was just Somebody standing in my kitchen. Reacted. I was just standing in my kitchen. I literally didn't feel anything. But is anyway. your kitchen on your is on your ground floor? Yeah, yeah. So that's probably why. Like if you were upstairs, you probably would have been more likely to feel. It would, it would have felt a little bit more. I mean, I remember, I remember being. Well, I don't. I I think I think it was on the air. I, the one like what the one that was recent. Like what was it? It's like it's within the last ten years. I was working with with Mike Missinelli. I remember that. So whatever it could have been, yeah, like probably a decade ish. Yeah, I, I was dro- I was driving at the time. Didn't feel a thing. Yeah, when when was that? Fill it up like if I Google fill up your earthquake right yeah, now. Yeah, it'll be the last two. <laughs> All right. But yeah, so because I remember I think I think we sent Sean Brace into the city on assignment. You know, because even though like and by the way, it, the, the magnitude was at a 4.8 centered in Jersey or whatever. They felt it all yeah. the way up in New York and Connecticut and places like that, and all the way down and here. But I think we we sent Sean Brace into the city because you know, people are like like, oh, my God, it's an earthquake. Oh, oh, oh. You're like, everybody's freaking out. Yeah. Um, but see, it seems like everything, like, there, there was no structural damage or anything like that on anything, right? Like, it just, we're not used to earthquakes around here. So when one happens, it's kind of a big deal. Yeah. 
Yeah, there, I mean, there was just what, like a 6.8 in Taiwan or something. I'm watching a video of that today, and there's like rock slides and ro- yeah, like bowlers taking legit. out cars, and like people are acting like this is something around here. Yeah, no, I didn't even, like, like I said, I didn't even know. So, um, yeah, so the great earthquake of 2024. Glad everybody is okay. Is everybody out there on uh, on chat row all right? Any, chat everybody row. didn't seem like didn't seem like anybody was uh, had any. Taiwan was 7.4. All right. I, I know it was significantly better, but um, so anyway. All right. Well, there you go. So I'm glad everybody's okay from the from the great earthquake that we suffered right here. Uh, Phil's four nothing, by the way, bottom of the eighth. I had over four and a half on this, and they had the bases loaded and they didn't do anything with it. So yeah, one more shot. Yeah, I, I don't think we have much of a shot at all, honestly. Hey, you know, a little garbage home run. Oh, it could be a home run. It could. Uh, all right. So the City Connect jerseys, they were leaked earlier in the week, right? But you didn't get you didn't get a full shot at it. You kind of saw what it looked like. I saw that like four months ago. Did you? They were yeah, they were leaked forever ago. Huh. I don't yeah, I my mean, buddy sent it to me. He's like, these better not be the jerseys. And they they were. Yeah, so they are. Uh, well, let me see if I can uh, pull one up here. No, all right, here it is. We'll share it with everybody. If you didn't see it, yeah. So, um, and and they're unapologetically Philly. They posted on social media. Oh, shut up! Patch of sleeve. Uh, the patch on the sleeve says "City of, City of Brotherly Love" with the Liberty Bell. Uh, and t- I think the hats are pretty cool. I don't know, man. Like. The, I think it's just the, the lettering. lettering the lettering's terrible. If you change the lettering, I probably like the jersey. The lettering's horrible. Did you see what it's inspired by? The yeah, lettering. I forget though. It, it, the Declaration of Independence. I was like, how do you, does that look like the Declaration of Independence? Oh yeah, it's <laughs> the first thing I think is the Declaration yeah. of Independence. <laughs> that, look, that looks horrible. It does. That looks terrible. Now Bryce looks good in it. He pulls it off. But, you think Bryce would look good in anything? You no, know, he does. So does Trey. <laughs> Sorry, right. you just have you have a man crush on Bryce. It's all right. It's it's unlike any other current athlete or athlete. And I'm trying to think the last athlete that that I had this this level of affection for uh, before this. I was a big Brian Westbrook fan. He was always he was always my favorite when he played. He was my favorite Eagles. I remember him coming out. And of he's a Oakland. charismatic dude too. Dude, he's awesome. The way he used to, he's he's awesome. He used to celebrate touchdowns. He just throw the ball against the back wall or throw it against the sign that the that the opposing team's fans would have if it was on the road. He was such when, a good player, Brian Westbrook. And whenever he was in the fanatic, he was always like such a nice guy. He was easy to talk to. He's a he's a great guy. Now Brian yeah. Brian is a is a really really good smart yeah. like like wise wide like very smart with his money and um. Yeah, I, I was always a big, big fan. Michael Richmond says Nick Foles. <laughs> well, I mean, you you did get him tattooed on your back, I, but it wasn't because I I I mean I do love him. Don't get me wrong, but I do know uh, I do yes I, I know Mike I do have a tattoo of him. right, but that was more of me, me opening my big mouth and then being dumb. Uh so anyway, yeah. So so it's a it's a no on the on the City Connect. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't buy one. And apparently, they're, according to my buddy Kev, they're flying off the shelves. He says, "Yeah, sure. Well, it's a, it, it's a it's a Marlin slash Philadelphia Union looking <laughs> jersey. If they if they made love, if those two franchises made love, this is what the the jerseys would look like after yeah, it was over. I see it. Yeah, I see it. Whatever. I don't think it's very good." But yeah, I I don't see. I love the I love the, the regular Phillies colors. They they have a couple of jerseys. I love the Phillies hat. I have a ton of Phillies hats. The Eagles, the the the, the midnight green. I don't particularly like, but like it's fine. But I don't think it's cool. The black jerseys are are pretty cool. I obviously, obviously love the Kelly green jerseys, but like you know the, the Eagles the Eagles jersey. I love the Phillies jerseys. I I I love. I've always loved the Phillies jersey. So. And the I need a bl- I need a black Eagles jersey with Kelly green like trimming. That's my ideal jersey. Like I would say, buy that. Say it again. Two second. Like a black Eagles jersey with all the trimming being Kelly green. Ah. Yeah. 
Uh-huh. Like either either the numbers like be just Kelly Green or white trimmed in Kelly Green or like like trim like the sleeves trimmed in Kelly Green. Yeah, you, you should, I you like, should help design that. I I think I could come up with a, some good ones. If well, I probably I probably don't design all the ones that everyone hates. Actually, now that I think about it, uh, oh, lots of wrestlers at Cheekies and Pete's right now. Cheekies and Pete's in South Philadelphia. I'm sure Pete is there. And he's going, watch. I should text Pete and say, hey, text me pictures of uh, the wrestlers that are there if hey, he's in town. I was going to say, shouldn't they be uh, on the stage at uh, SmackDown right now? I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on. Yeah, it's SmackDown at Wells Fargo. Tonight. SmackDown's at Wells Fargo tonight. And then WrestleMania, obviously, at the link Saturday and Sunday. And then Raw mm-hmm. is at Wells Fargo Monday night. Oh, all right. That's, and that's the extent of my wrestling knowledge right there. That's it. That's it. That's well, all I got. Vince can Vince can probably tell you he's a uh, SmackDown is live. Vince is a big wrestling fan. He took exception to your comments last night on <laughs> passive aggressive. Sorry, Sorry Vince. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, there you go. Um. So so as I said earlier, we're gonna play the uh, we're gonna play the Delco Price is Right Delco Craigslist Price is Right. Now I'm not gonna lie. I poached a couple of items off Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace, just because the the Delco Craigslist price, like some of the items that were up for bid, just weren't all that interesting. You know what I mean? I was just like, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was so then I'm I'm searching for a prosthetic leg, or <laughs> didn't have one in Delco, but there was one in in Philadelphia that was for sale. A couple in Philadelphia for sale. So probably one of my old teachers from Bonner. Do you buy anything off of uh, off online? Like, do you buy any items off of Facebook Marketplace or sell things off of Facebook Marketplace? Um, we've sold some stuff for work off of Facebook Marketplace, but I've never. I keep saying I need to like check it, and then I just never do for like if I'm actually looking for something specific. Yeah, I don't. I don't even know what I'd really look for. Uh, I just buy something new and just don't even worry about it. Right. My, the um one one of the dads uh, from my daughter's friends. He's uh and he's got three to play softball. And so he goes on marketplace and he'll get bats for like five bucks because with each, each step up you take, you get a little bit bigger, get a little bit stronger. They gave up a goal. So, yeah, listen, it's, it, it, but it's good to see you actually caring again this year. Uh, One of these years, maybe Joe, Watson's, make just make Joe Watson's great grandson can, uh, can do something or whatever. Yeah. Yep. 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 All right. Well, that's, that's coming well, up here in just one second. Are you a, are you a Mike Florio fan? Uh, no, not particularly. Not <laughs> any of those NFL <laughs> Network guys. No, no. There's not many of them that I actually. So have Florio is the uh, he's the honcho of pro football talk, and he does the show. It's on Peacock with Chris Sims, uh, PFT Live, Pro Football Talk Live. I like Florio a lot because he is constantly stirring the pot and he's constantly writing like this dude is rich and he'll be up on a Saturday night at 10 PM writing something for his website. And that's something I would never, ever do. I, you know what, you know what I mean? Steve? I, I like, I like to say I work hard. Right. And I've worked, worked hard for everything that I have, but that's only because I, I'm not rich. If I was rich and I didn't have to, didn't have to work as much, which I'm actually not doing right now, but you know, like, this dude writing stories on Sunday night and Saturday night and whatever, like F that man. But he's a very hard worker, Mike Florio. Yeah, I mean, I think he stirs the conversation, but when especially when you put these two together, I just oh my god. Chris Sims is Chris Sims is definitely the worst. But yeah, I, just, um, I like Florio. So they're 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 talking about like the Stefan Diggs trade and, and Josh Allen. And I don't even really understand it, but things got heated and they've been doing the show together for a number of years. And, I, and I've never, I've, I've never sensed that I've never seen him get into a fight or anything like this, but so here they are. Here's what happened today on a uh, PFT live. Oh, I'm always has his back. There's never been a hint of any effort or any frustration or any attempt by Josh Allen to take over that relationship. That relationship was dominated by Stephon Diggs. As long as Diggs got what he wanted, everything was fine. And Josh Allen never pushed back at this disrespect that we saw from time to time. 
I'm, I'm making inferences based upon what we've seen. I know. And when and you I'm, see I'm the body just telling language you, like, from Josh Allen looking down at a player like a at a post game press conference being, and do that. That's what uh, I. Oh, if he okay. did that, you'd go, okay. he's a bad leader, Mike. You're putting him in like a well, no way. No, I if he did no, that, because we've never no, heard anybody say that no, type of stuff. Who's, who goes no, into a, a press a conference and where you have to do it? Aaron Rodgers says it. Aaron Rodgers does it. When? As a team thing, he never calls it out. He goes goes cryptically, like, says coded stuff. That's not a cool way to do it's it either, still, and you agree with that. Well, right. Well, exactly. We also say, His ass also is out of Green a, Bay because everybody was sick of it. Mike, stop, stop. I just keep. Go ahead. You talk till the break. I won't say anything more. Go ahead. You okay, go. be a baby. Take That's it over. Right. Take right. it over. Good. I'm not well, being a baby. You are. For baby. Sake, let me talk. <laughs> no, you talk a lot. Right. Get out of here. Shut up, you baby. Get out of here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> See, this is what Josh Allen should do. Uh, <laughs> That's so oh, awkward. Oh man! <laughs> and and you know what? Florio is being a baby. He is. Believe me, working working with in sports radio where you have heated heated conversations like that, I have never said, "All right, I'm not talking to him. I'm not talking to him." Right? Maybe I should have, but I never said that. I just like I, I just kind of try to move on from it. Right? And he's like, "Fine, take it to the break." I don't even know who's. I don't even know who's like. To me, it seems like Sims is Sims is right in the conversation, and Florio's like Florio's like that, 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 that. Sims is just like, what do you want him to do? Criticize it? Criticize the guy at the press conference? I mean, I don't know the 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 Stephon Diggs and and Josh Allen thing. It's definitely a weird. It's a weird trade to have when you have a team that's literally on the doorstep of winning a Super Bowl or getting to a Super Bowl at least. Well, it's the thing for me is. Like the Texans wiped out the whole last three years of his deal, so he wouldn't be a diva. <laughs> they literally traded a second round pick, and I mean, obviously they got other picks back, but whatever. For one year, eliminated, eliminated the three years, so that he wouldn't be a problem to be motivated. So they even know he's a problem. So like, yep, eh. yep, and they're and they're fine with they're fine with getting the one year out of him and seeing what happens and having him happy yeah. as opposed to him. If they weren't going to give him a new contract, nor, sh nor should they should they have given him a he new contract. He had four contract. years left on the deal. <laughs> right, right, exactly. Now, I, I mean, a lot of times when there's no guaranteed money left on the deal, they don't even really count that as a contract anymore. They're like, no, 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 no. But, like, from the bill standpoint, they probably wanted to get rid of him now as opposed to next year where they felt like they could get a draft pick for him right now. He's 31 or he's going to be 31. I mean – I heard what the GM said after the trade where he said, you know, like, are we better right now on paper? No, we're not better right now. We have a lot of work to do. But sometimes addition by subtraction can help. And by all indications, he was a pain in the ass. Now, he's a good player, and they don't really have anything behind him. But, you know, like, sometimes just getting that out of the locker room, now everybody feels like they can breathe. They still have to get a wide receiver. They can't go into the season no. with this. So Josh Allen's going to get killed because he's going to try to do too much. And so. it's like they lost without him. They didn't get accomplish anything with him. So losing him, it's you know, what's the difference? Yeah, I mean they, they're not winning the way that way that they're doing it right now. And and when Brady, Joe Brady took over as OC, they've been they were running the ball like crazy with Cook and Allen, and that's why Diggs' numbers suffered too. So he wasn't as much of a focal point in that new offense. So I mean, to your great point, maybe they like. Brady comes in, they start running the ball. It looks totally different. It works. And now this is a part of the offense. So you say, you know what? We're going to run the ball. We don't need great wide receivers because Josh Allen's a great quarterback and we can, I mean, you can't do that forever. They're going to have to draft somebody this year. Oh yeah. They'll, they'll be, they'll probably re not that they'll reach a 28, but they'll be kind of locked in at 28 for a receiver. And there'll be, and there'll be guys there that'll be pushing. The, oh, from sure. The early second to the late first that. But will be. I mean, I, honestly, it's, it's one of the things about drafting one of those receivers in the top ten, and you've seen this for the last couple drafts. You're finding guys that are just as good or better later on in the first round or the second round. There are so many wide receivers these days that can be had. I mean, if you think about it, it wasn't that many years ago that the running back was like for example Debo Samuel if Debo played 20 years ago he comes out as a running back he's not a wide receiver oh, 100 you know what I mean like he he's a he's a running he's like a 2000s running back who now parents coaches they say 
you're not a running back anymore. You're a wide receiver. Because if you want to be a running back, it doesn't matter. So you see all of these young kids that are coming up, and some of the parents are are also uh, former NFL players, et cetera. They don't want you being a running back. They'll say be a corner or be a wide receiver, especially a corner. But wide receivers, you can get great wide receivers. And there's so and, many of them out there because there's passing offenses in high school. These guys have been really wide receivers since they were young kids with seven on sevens and things like that. So, And you make a lot more money at corner and wide receiver than you do at running back. That's true. So, so it's like, hey, play that position. It'll probably be more beneficial for you. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Dean Digman's asking, a herb update, who cares about digs? Well, Dean Digman, it's not a, uh, it's not a, a bad comment. I, I don't have a herb update. He, uh, I didn't text him back after he was texting me about seeing Mark Farzetta. Maybe I should have texted him back. But, like, I don't know. I, I don't want to feel like it's a chore to get herb on the program. You know what I mean? Yeah, Delco's herb's in bed already. We really do keep him up when when he comes on. What I probably need to do is just I'm like like yo, her, what are you doing? If it's like eleven o'clock in the out, eleven o'clock in the morning, her, yeah. what are you doing? Just come on with let's let's go right now. Yeah, let's go on because he's definitely he's like me actually, asleep. I could jump on I, my phone at work and uh, talk with her. Heck yeah, I can walk away from the camera and do something else while he's talking. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. It's like uh, your dog died two years ago. Eventually, you'll get by. But <laughs> like that's just weird correlation there. <laughs> yeah, it is. I still I, I'm I'm over my dog now, but I, she passed away in se- 17, 2017. She's up on the mantle. I had her cremated. There's her little boxes up there underneath the TV. It's got a little paw print on it. It does. It says Lexi on it. My uh, my poor little girl, but all right. So hold on. What, what do we we have some other? Uh, so we have some radio talk here, which I like. If Bayless says I like the new fanatic fanatic lineup, I still listen to Jack and Ike, but Fanatic Morning and Middays has been better. Huh? Well, it's been Bob Cooney and and a rotating cast of people. Amy Fadul now is being is being uh, prominently uh, put on the fanatic. She was with the morning show this morning. She's been doing like middays. They're kind of moving her around. There's even promos that are running for the station. It's like Amy Fadul on the fanatic. <laughs> and Amy, like Amy Fadul's fine. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to. No, I'm not, no. Trying to say I'm not trying to say anything. But like, if they put, and I like all, the, I like all the Comcast people. So I don't. But if, it was like if they put any of the Comcast people on, I'd be like, all right, cool. Like, but really, like that's your secret weapon now as a. Is Amy? I, I I heard her a little bit on with Bob Cooney, and like she was fine, but oh, you had uh, second and third and didn't get it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Maniac Maniac Malloy from uh, from Bet Parks is uh, currently texting me furious. <laughs> That's but well, no, he was asking for a Cassiano's bomb to get over, and I'm like, yeah, right, dude, that ain't happening. So the morning show's better. You listen to the morning show. What? So why, if Bayless, why don't you listen to the uh, why don't you listen to the the WIP morning show? I'm curious. I don't know. Uh, people were asking also about uh, about Miss and Ellie. They're like, well, what's going on with Mike? So I'll I'll say this. I was talking to somebody today, and it, the 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 latest I got was that they're still talking. And the door hasn't been closed on him returning, but they're still talking. To where I say, well, what are you still talking about? Like, either you're gonna you're gonna work the show, or you're not. Like, is this that's be money that they're squabbling over? So, like, the fanatic should say, listen, this is our best offer. Take her or leave it. Shit or get off the pot. Yeah, like, all right, I understand. I I, I understand from all perspectives. They, they don't, you know, like they're they don't make the money they used to. Mike wants more money than they're willing to pay. So, like, listen, this is what we'll pay you. Take it or leave it. But then, like, they don't want to walk away from it. It's pretty obvious with that. But, yeah, I think I think it's money. So, I, I'm told that it's not over yet, that they're still they're, – they are still talking. But uh, someone had put this on there about um, about Bill uh, Colarulo, my, my buddy Bill. They've been putting him all over the place. He's excellent. He really is. He's excellent. So he's a possibility to work middays if he doesn't. Uh, 
I, I would tune in for it. If he gets a weekday spot, I would tune in for him. Yeah, for sure. Uh, let me see here. People hated Angelo. John John, still not good enough. Well, I mean, I, I don't think that – it's not that it's not good enough. People just like – like people are entitled to listen and like what they want, right? Like I wasn't I, – I didn't listen to Angelo. I don't listen to, to Joe and John either, but like I, I like them. I like the middays. I don't, I'm not in the car a lot or I'm not listening to them in the car a lot in the morning. I don't listen to the fanatic in the morning. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'll, if I'm in the car, I'll tune in to, uh, to Jack and Ike. If, uh, if Bill's working as the fanatic, I'll put him on. I like, I like, I'll switch back and forth between Cooney. I like Bob Cooney and, uh, and Joe and Hugh. Joe and Hugh are good too. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I like the shows. I just don't listen to a lot of it. That's it. So, I don't know. Joe Giglio. Hot takes galore. Richie's kind of boring. All right, well, you know, that's what everybody is able to watch, whatever they want to watch. That's what makes this country great. All right, Phil's are up 4 nothing. bottom of the ninth. Looks like they're going to win this. Alvarado's in to try to get a win. And it does not look uh, – does not look – uh, if you're a Washington Nationals fan and you're still at this game, what like, what is wrong with you? What kind of a loser are you? Yeah, no. Can't pay me to do it. It's the same as the other night. No way. Yeah, no way. At least it's not raining down there tonight. Yeah. That's, that's – I don't know. There, I, I think I went to one April like baseball game at night years and years ago. I'm like, I will never do that again. And like, that's all you need. Yeah. I watched a I watched a fail ball land in my seat and I was just like like well, I was in we were at like Diamond Club seats and I was like like, like ah I'm like, nope I'm good I'm in I'm in the warm part I'm gonna stay here and you're out so the and Flyers was that a final yep four two lost gave up an empty dinner. well listen man it's uh we'll, we'll get it we'll get them next year right nutter. that wasn't an empty nutter, but whatever no uh, there's the five games. made it look like an empty nutter. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, there's five games left. Anything could happen, but I don't know. They only have two wins in their last 10. If they had four wins in their last 10, they'd be probably fine. So how much, much how much blame does Tortorella take from that? Or is this is this dude, roster just not good he, enough? He's been pissing me off, dude. He's just he just sounds like such a jerk off lately. He is. Uh, it's I mean, I know he, he is, is but a jerk off. I know he is, but it's just like the, his quotes are just like I don't even know. He's he's calling out everybody. He's he, I don't know. I don't. I'm not the big media guy. Like the coach goes through the media to give like gets his point across, and it seems like he's always benching people for like random reasons or holds grudges for longer than needs to be. I don't know, but he didn't do this all year, and now it's down to the nitty gritty, and he's doing it, and it it's definitely not working. So I don't know what he's. I don't know what the problem is. I, I just don't get it. He was crushing right. it all year. I, I thought I was changing my stance on him halfway through the year because he was being more positive and giving players a chance to work it out. And now it's and now it's complete, it's back to his old his old chick. They lose the room. I I doubt it, but I don't know. Tor, they, Torts has too much power in like this new like triumvirate as they call it. It's he's. I, I don't know. I don't see how he could lose the room with that kind of like say in the organization, but you never know. Because the, because, the, because the guys grow tired of them and they don't like coming to work because they don't like them. And you don't realize the effect that it's having on the team. If you're one of the players, but nobody, nobody wants to come to work. If, if the atmosphere sucks and they hate the coach it's, and like, they, it's they, like they, they it, dominate, it affects the guys. Yeah. They dominated this game. Territorial wise, majority of the time, they gave up two freaking odd and odd man chances going the other way, and the Sabers capitalized on both of them. I have a, I have a, um, I, I have a, a an uninformed opinion because I don't know anything about the talent on the Flyers. I would say it's a talent issue. Oh, as it's anything it, else. Oh, a hundred percent. They don't have as much talent as the high upper end teams, but they've proven all year that they can win with their work ethic. So it's. And like today, they had work at the like the they like I said they were up thirty to nine in shots almost at one point, and the Sabers aren't a better they're to the same level of talent as us. So we're obviously outworking them. They just capitalize on all their opportunities. I don't get what's happening. It makes the, there's been so many games in the last two weeks 
where they haven't given up. They they were given up two goals on 10 shots and they'd have 20. It's like, I don't know. It's not making much sense to me as this season winds down. I just hope they, they play Columbus tomorrow, who's the worst team in the East. So if they don't win that, if they don't win that game, it's done. It's it's done. Oh, man. See, I was ready to have the Delco watch party, Flyers watch party, where we all wore jorts and Flyers jersey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we might get a, we might we might get a chance, but we'll we'll have to see how it goes the last couple of days. They got the Rangers. They got one tough game with the Rangers next week. The rest of them are very winnable. Not that the Rangers game isn't winnable as well, but it hasn't been in the last three or four years. <laughs> All right. Well, listen. Who's ready to play Delco Craigslist? Price is right. I have five items up for bid. All right, so I'm just I can't go over, just getting as close as I can without going so over. We're gonna we have how many regular people do we have that are chatting in the chat? Like 10 at least. Yeah. Or something like that. We have our regulars and we have people that speak more than others. But if people want to get in on each item, and I don't know how long the lag is behind, but we'll give you a chance to do it. I'll announce the item that's up for bid. And okay. uh you can't go over. So closest without going over, I will will win the prize. I will buy it for you, okay? If you want to. <laughs> so I guess you didn't pick anything too expensive. Well, no, I didn't. <laughs> well, no, I did actually. What one item is uh, is expensive, you'll see. All right, so let so let's do it. I have some music here for, for everybody. Yeah. Is this ducks on a pond again? It is, yeah. Feeding the oh, ducks. Feeding the ducks. All right, let's send it to. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, you got the prices it? blocked out? Yes, I do. All right, let's go find it. All right, let's send it to Glenn Olden. An adult diaper. Jesus. Size one, large. McKesson. Just one singular adult diaper? No, there's no, there's sixteen of them in there. Okay. It's a it's light, so it does it's it's not a heavy. Yeah, it's a light one. You wouldn't want to wear this to sleep. This is probably the one you want to wear to the grocery store. McKesson <laughs> underwear, adult <laughs> diaper, size large. Steve, I'm gonna start with you. Oh, is it more than a dollar a piece? And they are new, by the way. Oh, uh, sixteen of them. I'll go $13.99. $13.99. Now remember, people, these are this is on Craigslist or Marketplace. All right, uh, so Oz goes one dollar. That's gonna be tough to beat. <laughs> oh, you just gave away the answer. Well, it's not a dollar. Well, okay, with the with the rest <laughs> of the items. All right. Anybody else? Actually, let me see. Well, where do we have it here? All right. We have a winner, and it is If Bayless, who had $4.99, $5 that just went on sale from $8. Woohoo! The McKesson underwear, $5. Well, actually, he went over that, huh? No, he went $4.99. So, he, yes, he got it. All right. Ooh, if got it by a penny. It. Yep. $4.99. <laughs> well, there you go. All right. Now, have you ever, have you ever worn an adult diaper? No. I took a picture and Instagrammed it and tweeted it out. I noticed at the grocery store, because when I do a cut through a Wegmans to get to the self-service uh, checkout, you often go through this part of where you have, you're going through the, the, like the pharmacy area and you go right through where there's the adult diapers. And these guys on the adult diapers are, Flyers yeah. got some good news though. The Capitals choked, <laughs> and the Red Wings are choking. Oh man, we got, we got life, baby. <laughs> so the loss doesn't matter as much. Not as much. Anyway, these dudes on the on the pa the pack of the adult diapers look really happy to be wearing a diaper. But I know that there's a there's a guy on the Howard Stern. Stimulation. There's a there's a guy on the Howard Stern show, uh, Richard Christie, that's a big music fan, and when he goes to these concerts that are general admission so he doesn't lose his spot at the top at the front he wears an adult diaper and he just pees in his in his pants so he doesn't have to lose his spot there you go that's one way of doing it yeah i'm gonna try it 
All right, next site, next item up for bid. DVDs. Now, this is a big box of them, but how much are they looking for each? You see, four brothers, Kevin Hart, seriously funny. What do so we got down here? It's individual, like each. like they're selling. Okay, they're selling them individually, each, and they don't look. They don't look like they're great titles. It looks like a VHS. Is that, a happy, is that happy? I think the middle one's Happy Gilmore. The the to the left of the green one. Right, really? No, it's just Bruce. Is that what that? Oh, it's just uh, is that Bruce? It. Bruce Almighty? It might be Bruce Almighty. Yep. It looks like the like the thumbnail like for Happy Gilmore like if it's on TV. That's right. why I thought it for a second. But no, I think it would be Bruce Almighty. I would. I would say a dollar a piece. What's the sharing? All right. Well, let me. I gotta stop sharing, but now I gotta share again. I hope this works. A uh, dollar a piece. Some other people have said a dollar a piece. And it is. Dollar a piece. There you go. Can you see that? Yeah, we got it. I don't think you want it. And that's in not even, spring. That's in I don't spring. even know where to play a DVD anymore. Do you have a DVD? DVD. Play? No, no, we do not. I haven't. I, I don't. I had one. I don't think I ever had it hooked up. I think I'd be more likely to be able to go down to my garage and find a VHS player before I'd be able to find a DVD. I agree player. with you. I know I don't have a. I know I don't have a DVD. I don't have a VHS. On, but I know I don't have a DVD, DVD player. I want nothing to do with it. All right, let's uh, let's let's throw it to Sharon Hill, Pennsylvania, Delaware County, and um, you know what we got Delco Steve. We got some women's underwear. <laughs> Looks like a couple thongs. Oh. Yeah, you, you have pink, <laughs> and then a couple more thongs. Seven right. pairs of underwear and all. I need to know. I need to know some information here based on for pricing. Are they used? <laughs> they are new. Ah, they they'd probably get more money if they probably get more money from the weirdos on Craigslist if they were used. <laughs> They're described as being new, slightly worn. <laughs> All right, hang on. I don't want to. I don't want to screw it up. I have it on my phone too. Hold on. All right, let me see here. But I, I, I wrote down condition new, correct. Uh, new. All right. So what do you got? You got you got one to seven pair. Total new so, women. So the price is all of them together. They're not each. All of them. Not in, they're not selling individually. They want all of them. Uh, I'll go. I'll go seven bucks. Seven dollars. You would think that they would reasonably price the, these underwear, considering this is Craigslist, and these these are new. Now, if these were worn, perhaps you could get more money for them. They'd be fi- they'd be fifty bucks a piece if they were worn. <laughs> <laughs> well. Everybody get their price in 20, 10, $5 each, says Kevin. 10 for a pack. Remember, you don't want to go over here. But let's share it. I can actually just do it. That's actually smart. $25 in stock. Oh, I, I thought someone said, did someone say 25? Someone said 20. Ah, that's a winner. I mean, I think you have to. Oh wait, no, Kevin. Well, Kevin said five dollars each, and then twenty for all. That's you get. That's two guesses. All right, that's true. That's true. But no, Dean Dinkman said twenty. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. So, so where were these stolen from? So also, a lot of these other items, I didn't. I only wanted to do five. I didn't want to do too many. But there was one. All right, because we have. I think I have one more here. One or two more here. No, yeah, so one more here. So there was a bunch of toothbrushes. It was five double packs, nine single packs, and one battery battery operated pulsar charcoal infused bristle toothbrush, all brand new. Why does somebody have that many brand new toothbrushes that they're selling? Well, they have 48 bucks, by the way, for all those toothbrushes. That's an upper Darby, Pennsylvania. All right. Old upper Darby, baby. Final item up for bid in Delco Craigslist. 
Um, no, actually, no. We, we have two more. Apologies, we have two more. All right. Let's move on to the next one here. All right, next item up for bid is the following. 2002 Subaru Outback Limited Wagon 4D. <laughs> and we're in Glen Olden, Pennsylvania right now. Now, 242,000 miles. And the interior, right. the interior, I would say based on the other pictures that were there, the interior looks like you would think it would look on a 2002 Subaru Outback Limited. It's, it's still drivable, so the person obviously took, or whoever took care of the car, but it's still, the car's 20-some years old. Uh, looks like it. All right. All right. I think if someone nails this, you have to buy it for them. Okay, you got it. To, yep. to the T. To the T, yes, on that. Uh, I'm going to go $9.99. So just under $1,000. Just under $1,000. If Bayless is at uh, $3,000. <laughs> 1150 by Tim Don Hill 8 1500 for Vince 400 J Nice All right all good guesses I wouldn't pay more than $400 for it Me neither Uh well here is uh here's what it is $2000 Yeah Oh my god what a rip off $2000 not even two thousand dollars in scrap on that car. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't. I don't think anybody. I don't have to buy that for anybody. But there you go. All right. So we have one more item up left for bid. Oh, he's Sean. Father Sean said two thousand. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna buy it for him. All right, Sean. Send me your address, man. <laughs> Imagine getting that. He's coming home and he's a Subaru sitting in your front lawn in a box. A great. <laughs> well, that's that's where I would my uh my buddy one time he had a I don't even remember the car what kind of car it was but it was like a really shitty car and he he went to school in Slippery Rock and like he lasted like two semesters and he would go back up there and he would hang out in his fraternity house and the one time he went up there he came home he had this god awful smell in his car that he couldn't get rid of he couldn't figure it out and he kept. It, so he ended up putting like Febreze and all these other like scents in there, which made it even worse. You know what I mean? So yeah, it ended so up pat, like a smell bomb, dude. You, there was there was no going back after that. So, so he ended up having like rats crawl up inside his car, like in the engine, and then die. And it was like oh. a bunch of them. And that's what you were smelling were rotting rats. Yeah, they're going through like the intake. <laughs> Right, so so now you have dead, rotted rats that you tried to cover up with Febreze. Oh my God, I can still smell it right now. So he ends up selling the car for like 300 bucks. And whoever bought the car, I guess the next day, it literally just like stopped running. So he drove the car, or like he pushed the car up on his lawn and just left it. <laughs> up on my buddy's lawn. And just left it. I feel like that's not even me, that's not even good enough revenge. You need to go like harder with that. Well, it was only, like block in the dude's front bucks. door with it. Yeah, well maybe they tried and, and the tree stopped them. But yeah, so that's what happened. All right, so we have one more item. And what do we have here? Oh, this is a good one. All right. Now, have you ever have you ever worked uh oh geez, I can't I can't I can't show this. I, I gotta quickly on the fly fix this. So I left the price up there. Oh, at least you caught it before. Uh... Yes, yes, because we can't. I mean, there would be uh, there would be hell to pay if I screwed this up. All right. So, have you ever any sofa that you've ever had? When I go back and I think of some of the sofas that, like, in houses or apartments or um, just places that I've like slept, like the disgusting. Oh my god! Repulsed like, you? Oh my god! When I lived in Hawaii. The, the most of the most of the apartments that you got were furnished right so like and i had this i had these four east coast guys that we i used to go over and hang out with uh they were big sports fans and and they love smoking weed so we we'd go over there and we play video games and stuff and 
So, and, and, but like this apartment that they were having was in this building in Waikiki called the Whale Building because they had this big whale mural on the side of it. So everybody called it the Whale, whale Building. And when I think about this couch that was probably there for 30 years and how many nights I fell asleep on it and like my face was just like straight down on this couch. Oh God, dude. But there's a couch that's, that's uh, up for bid and it's in uh, Clifton Heights, Pennsylvania. That's where I'm, that's where I'm at right now, baby. And it is considered, Steve, uh, used condition. All right, here we go. This is actually my. This is actually my item. No, it's just, <laughs> there it is. It's a pink sofa. Oh, that's not terrible. I was expecting like a lot worse. No, it actually looks in. It looks in in decent condition. I was just trying to filler bust until I could. I could email it. But I mean, if you look at the carpet. You know, like the the house probably badly needs a remodel. There's a there's a, a mirror over here that they're probably trying to sell too. But this is like it just looks like somebody that's had the same furniture slash carpeting slash everything for the last 25 to 30 years. Even though it may look clean, if you put a black light on that puppy <laughs> and turn off the lights, you'd probably be unhappy with what you saw. You found some DNA from the 70s back there. Yeah, you would. All right, used pink couch. What do you got? 75. All right. Wow. There's a, there's, I don't know if people realize Don Hill, buck 25, 80 bucks. Michael Richmond right now in the lead, I believe. They pay you to take it. <laughs> no, they, they, they don't. So. Trick, trick question. <laughs> no, they, no, this is actually, this is priced. It's not free or anything like that. 50 says Don Hill. All right, final answers here. A pink sofa. I'll, I'll, it, stick, with, uh, I'll stick with 75. People are, people are slow. All right. Let's see. 30 bucks. See that? It could be it could be yours. Oh, we, Mike Richmond with 25. My, Michael Richmond wins it. $25, Michael. Congratulations, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. Twenty-five dollars. All right, there you go. Why wouldn't you just take that out back and throw it in the like? Let the trash men come take it. All right. So to that, right? That's where I am. Am right now. I have said to my wife recently. I said, "All right, we talked about the Peloton last night or the night before." Yeah. And so, and and like I'm 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 the one that needs to do it, but. Like I said to her, I'm like, why don't we just try to sell an item every week? Because what we end up doing is we'll put like five things on marketplace and then, and then nothing happens. Right. And we don't get bites right away. And then we just like, forget about it or whatever. Like I need to put something up there and push it and then keep dropping the price until somebody gets it. Cause I have a ton of shit I need to get rid of. A ton of shit. I'm not even talking about children's stuff. I literally could, I could, I have hundreds of dollars worth of, of children's toys that are just like, but I usually donate the I donate the, the the toys, is what I normally do. I'm not trying to make money off of that. There's people out there that 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 don't have the money, and we have good shit. And these kids don't appreciate it. So, like they they should be, <laughs> not at all, dude. Not at all. How can they when they have so much stuff? You know what I mean. So, anyway, but like some other stuff. Like I we I have I have light fixtures because when we redid the kitchen, I had light fixtures we've got the year before that were expensive now it's like we can't use it because it doesn't go with the kitchen like these fucking light fixtures coming up over the island the <laughs> yeah yeah but then it's like what, what am i gonna do with them you know so now i'm putting that on the marketplace and like what do i price it at or whatever i got this juicer that like if you look it up it's this this antique juicer it's like 400 bucks people buy it for but like i don't know man whatever hey if you're just trying to make space any money any money is just a bonus we talk right. about that all the time. We talk about that all the time. It's like it's worth it just for the space. I I I want every I want everything out of here. I do. I have so much stuff. As far as the Peloton, it wasn't. A, I've never been on the. I've never been on the Peloton. I would. I, I have no interest in the Peloton. When my wife when my wife bought it, she's like, "Well, let me get you a pair because you have to wear the special shoes the, to get on the, the Peloton." Clip-in shoes. Yeah. So she's trying to buy two two pairs of them, and I'm like, "What are you buying two pairs for?" She's like, well, for you. And I'm like, I'm not riding this fucking thing. I'm not even going to pretend I'm riding this thing. I want to have nothing to do with this. All right. Yeah. But it's a workout, can, man. But you can, I, yeah, I know it is, but I, I know myself. I, I have no interest in doing it at all. I know myself. I, 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 there's videos online. I 
go I go to the old lady class at the Y and I do my workouts there. I don't need the the old lady classes. I love it. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh yeah. I saw one of the one of the few men that are in my my body pump class at the Y, one of the few men that are ever there. I saw today. I, I had lunch with my wife and he goes in and he's like, hey. And I'm like, hey. And but she's like, who's that? And I'm like, it's uh, it's my buddy. Yeah, it's the guy from the <laughs> The guy from the the class at the Y that wears earplugs during the during the class and like never talks to anybody, but then just like, came up and like AirPods or actual earplugs. Earplugs. What? That's I don't. A, yeah. A, no, I don't weird, know. I, that's weird. Yeah, I, I. I. But like, he, I can understand he, having AirPods in and not wanting to talk to people, but earplugs to not talk to people. That's he, that seems he, like another kind of fu kind of thing. He's, he's, he is, um, recently he's been trying to be a little bit more chatty with me, which I, I, he wears a Phillies hat every time he comes into. So he's obviously a Phillies fan. Um, so he's been, he's been trying to be a little bit more chatty recently. And I just, maybe because his Philly season started. He knows you're a big, uh, you got a yeah, big Philly I, show that you're going to talk about now. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure about that, but I just, I kind of, you know, there's a couple of the ladies in there. We we chat about stuff or whatever. We're kind of our own little clique. I don't need any, I don't need anybody else trying to trying to get involved in our conversations. You got a gym uh, wife that your wife shouldn't know about. <laughs> don't even put that out there. No. <laughs> all right, all right. If I had a gym wife, she's probably she's probably like 53, 54, mid fifties. Shorter hair, been definitely been coming and doing this class for years. She's in good, she's in good shape. Um, you know, like she's, I don't know, yeah. So she would be, she likes because I have a shirt that says "Girl Dad." So she's yeah. like, oh, and then she's like asking me about the kids, and I'm showing showing her pictures or whatever. So, you know, they liked it. They liked that I had the kids at home or whatever. So, I got my gym moms. I got two gym moms. You do? Yeah. <laughs> I joke. I call them. I joke. They call them mom all the time. They're always yelling at me for doing stupid shit. <laughs> so what's the, which gym do you go to? Because you go to it's not an Orange Theory, but it's like it's it's a non traditional gym, right? It's like I jokingly call it CrossFitty. It's like it's not CrossFit, but it's not just like, yeah, because you're like, throwing like, a tire around and yeah, know. we we do yeah we do some of that. So so it's Sonic Boom Fitness. My buddy owns it. It's uh it's in Spring or it's in Morton slash Springfield behind uh, the BJ's on 420. So if you guys want to come join my gym, by all means. Yeah, you're doing. You, you had it on your Instagram story. You were doing pull ups the other night and doing all this other shit. Yeah, I had to. I had to back out today. I had a little feeling like an old man with a pulled neck, back, shoulder thing. It's a, very annoying. You hurt yourself. I actually. I actually. I got the. I got a workout in today. I. I wish I could say I hurt myself. I, I myself. woke up. I hurt myself in my sleep, which is you know the sign that you're really getting old. Mm. You hurt yourself okay. in your sleep. Uh-oh. I I woke up with the knot in my back, and I'm like, "This sucks." I don't mind hurting myself if I actually do stuff. No, but that happens with it. your back afterwards. After your after your even, body just like chills. I wish I could say I did a back workout this week where it could have actually happened from it, but you know. Didn't. So UConn, UConn in Iowa is going on right now. We're in the second quarter. UConn, the this is the women's uh, women's yep. final four. UConn's up on Iowa by seven. I, I'm total. I'm a total. Dege- I'm officially a total degenerate. I have a bet on the Iowa Hawk women's Iowa Hawkeyes tonight. Caitlin Clark, one of five so far, and two points. What a choker! She's gonna turn it on and win the bet for me. I feel it. Yeah, I hope. <laughs> she's awesome. Oh, she's a beast. She really is, but so far not so good. All and right, the well, South Carolina women won by like twenty. Yeah, I saw that. That was a. Uh, that was a. A that was a little bit of a blowout. All right. Well, Phil's win. We'll see what they do this weekend. Harper had three doubles or two doubles, so he's on fire. Schwab's had a uh, had a double as well. So, did so you hit your bet? You're happy? Did you? Are yep. you on the plus side from the Phillies? Yes. Plus side for the Phillies. That's the Flyers ruin that. Ruin the rest of it though. Oh man. All right. Yeah. I, uh, I guess I'm still. I had 50 on the Flyers and 25 on. A Harper Turner parlay that hit and and Philly's first five or first five innings. So there you go. All right. The one uh, I cared about didn't didn't happen though. Everybody have a great weekend, Duck Steve. What do you got on the agenda for this weekend, man? Uh got a little bar crawl thing for my friend's birthday tomorrow. 
going all through Delco. Delco bar crawl? Yeah. Uh, it's more of the south side. We're doing uh, Tentacom and uh, like Ridley area. Or, Sounds yeah, like it's pretty much. Glen Alden. A lot of, we're all the, uh, where, yeah. the uh, where the items were purchased from today. Oh yeah. All right. Well, listen, grab the couch on your way, uh, your way home. <laughs> yeah. I'll Venmo you the 30 bucks or whatever it was. <laughs> Throw it right in my truck. Or go to Sharon Hill and get, and get the women's underwear yeah, while you're at it. I'll be close to Sharon Hill. I'll be fine that way. All right. Well, listen, have, have a good weekend, everybody. We'll talk to you next week. Have a great and safe weekend. Remember, subscribe, follow, bang on that like button, man. Bang. Smash. Smash. Bang, bang, bang. Comment and everything else. And have a great, safe weekend. We will talk to you next week. See ya. Peace.